Hi! Welcome to my channel. We are back in my car. As you may or may not have noticed, today it's you and me. It's you and me together, today, together. The two of us, together, you and me, going on a little adventure. Just us, just, just us. Me and you, you and me, you and I, just us today. So I drink a lot of coffee, right? As well as all the other people born in the 90s and early 2000s and you know what else we like to do people of that era well we like to stay on trend right so I thought it'd be fun to take a little break um, from the coffee and go try some matcha okay because that's like you know it's not that new it's been around for a little while but it's like the the hot like newish thing I know absolutely nothing about matcha I know it's a tea it's so freaking bumpy <laughs> okay better um, I think there's caffeine in it, so that'll be good. I saw somewhere that there's actual like health benefits um, And as far as coffee, you know coffee doesn't really hurt you, but is it good for you? Debatable and seeing as how I don't really know anything about matcha. I figured we go to The chain of all chains Starbucks. I actually last time I was there. I saw that Starbucks had matcha I didn't even know they had matcha. You know, I, I really like coffee. I know a good cup of coffee However, I'm not a connoisseur, so I do trust Starbucks coffee, and hate on that all you want, I will drink Starbucks, and I won't deny it. I was trying to figure out, you know, whether I should get it hot, whether I should get it iced, you know, seeing as how I have zero knowledge about the topic, and one of the questions that popped up was, why does matcha taste like fish? And that's a little scary. I don't want a drink that tastes like fish. I don't want to smell fish. I'm hoping that that's wrong. I'm hoping the person that searched that is a little messed up in the head. Their taste buds are a little bit off. We're just gonna go on a little adventure and, and see, see how it is. I'll let you know my prime review as an average coffee drinker. But if you wanna trust my opinion, um, I wouldn't be mad about it. I laid it all out and I made a decision. We're going with iced. Um, for one reason, I'm not necessarily cold right now, so I don't need a hot drink. Uh, reason number two, I'm not really in a casual sip chill environment since I'm in my car, so iced seems to go with the car better. And reason number three, um, Emma Chamberlain, you know, the queen, she is an iced matcha fan, so I think I should be an iced matcha fan. Hi, can I have a grande iced matcha latte? Um, so we're, we're just waiting in line right now, if you couldn't tell, um, there seems to be an issue going on ahead of me. Um, there's not arguing, but there's a lot of confusion. It looks and a lot of wait time I'm experiencing, so it's okay. I hope this is a good view for you. Okay. Okay. Um, I always am too far away from the drive through It's one of my main flaws. My arm's not gonna reach. Okay, just received um, the drink, but now we are going to go to a nearby parking lot um, by myself with nobody around so that people don't look at me and wondering why I'm talking to myself um, because I'm a little self-conscious about that. Okay, so um, we're currently at Kohl's. Um, next to a nice large snowbank. I'm a little nervous, but I'd say the only thing left to do is go ahead and give it a go. I got my matcha here. Grande iced gert latte. I don't know what GRT means, because shouldn't it be M? MT? And yeah, she gave me a straw because I'm terrible and I'm sorry that I'm doing this. I'm really sorry, but she gave it to me, so I have no choice but to use it. Also, this would be probably about the same price. It was like $4.47 for this, and it's a grande, and I feel like that's probably what my coffee would t cost here at Starbucks anyway. Here goes nothing. Ew! This is kind of disgusting. I see why that person said, why does it taste like fish? I, okay. I need to be more open-minded. Cleanse the palate. Give a couple more tries. Let's, let's give her a smell. 
definitely smells a little like fish. Um, smells very earthy, but somehow also like fish. And I feel like those smells aren't the same. No, absolutely not for me. Disgusting. You know, I was kind of thinking like matcha better than coffee. You know, like maybe that would be kind of like my little debate going on here. Definitely not. Absolutely not. Not better than coffee. Worse than coffee by a million. Coffee's great. Matcha's not. No. Nope. Not into it. I don't care if this makes me untrendy. I'm not trendy. I don't follow the trends because matcha's disgusting. And if the trend is disgusting, I'm not on it. I'm not about it. So from me to you, um, since, you know, it was us together today, um, I, I don't like it. I'm not a matcha person. I'm not a matcha fan. I will stick to coffee. I like hot coffee. I like iced coffee. I like lattes. You know, coffee has always made me happy. It has never failed. Tea, I've given a couple chances. I like tea, not matcha type tea. I don't know if matcha is a flavor. I don't know if matcha is a type. I don't know anything about matcha other than the fact that it tastes like butthole. Okay. It's disgusting. I, I don't know what to do. I literally just paid four, like 50 for an ass drink and I'm very much not happy that I wasted my money. I was even thinking about it. I was like, you know, maybe to give it a fair chance, I get a hot and an iced, but then I was like, no, that's obnoxious. I'm, I'm not going to buy two matchas and good thing because they taste gross. Oh God. No, 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 no. I feel like every sip I took was a punishment. It, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. It, I, sorry. I know we all like different things, but I feel like I'm very not picky and this is not good. And now I also don't think it's because I got iced instead of hot. I don't think hot could possibly be any better because it's just the flavor overall. Okay, but do you think it's because it's from Starbucks? Like, do you think an actual nice coffee place would have like good matcha? Because I'm considering that, but then I'm just thinking, I don't know how this could just be made any better. I don't know what you would have to do to it to make it better. So whether this is bad about matcha or bad about Starbucks matcha, I can't really tell you because I have not compared it to anything else, but I will probably not be trying any other matcha even if it's from a nice place ever again i'm sorry that this wasn't a very good experience for us you know i'm happy we got to do this together but i'm sorry it didn't turn out better so um i would love to know who all actually likes matcha but otherwise thank you guys for watching make sure to subscribe if you want and i'll see you in my next video